enter Moriah. Nay, either tell me what thou hast been, or I will not open my lips, so why does a bristle lay in way of thy excuse? <laughs> I've been over to the Count Orsino's again. Yes, his pining for Olivia is better than her mourning for her brother. My lady will hang thee for thy absence. For example. If music be the food of love, play on. Give me excess of it that surfeiting the appetite may sicken and so die. That strain again, it had a dying fall, or it came o'er my ear like the sweet sound that breathes upon a bank of violets, stealing and giving odors. Enough no more, tis not so sweet now as it was before. O oh, spirit of love, how quick and fresh art thou, that notwithstanding thy capacity receiveth as the sea, not enters then of what validity and pitch so air, but falls into abatement at low price, even in a minute. So full of shapes is fancy, that it alone is high, fantastical. Yet you'll be hanged for being so long absent, or be turned away. Is that not as good as a hanging to you? Many a good hanging prevents a bad marriage, and for turning away, let some bear it out. You're resolute, then? Not so, neither, but I am resolved on two points. That if one break, the other will hold, and if both break, your Gaskins fall. <laughs> apt in good faith, very apt, will go thy ways. If Sir Toby would leave drinking, thou wert as witty a piece of Eve's flesh as any in Illyria. Peace, you rogue. No more of that. Here comes my lady. Make your excuse wisely. You were best. Exit. Mariah, enter Olivia with Lavolio at a distance. Wit and be thy will put me into good fooling. Those wits that think they have thee do be oft prove fools, and I, that I'm sure I like thee, may pass for a wise man. For what says Quinapolis? Better a witty fool than a foolish wit. God bless thee, lady. Take the fool away. Do you not hear, Carlos? Take